All right. Now let's go ahead and discuss regularization for sparsity L1 regularization. As we have already discussed about the problem with the L2 regularization. L2 regularization only try to make weights close to zero as close possible. But in the L1 regularization, we can really make some of the vectors equal to the zero. That means some of the weights equal to zero. That means we can eliminate those features whose weight is equal to zero. In high dimensional sparse vector, it would be nice to encourage weights to drop to exactly zero where possible. It will ultimately reduce the total number of features which might get, which might get, uh, you know, uh, increase your uh, training speed as well as uh, it might also increase your accuracy, algorithm accuracy. A weight of exactly zero essential removes the corresponding features from the model, that means the feature selection ultimately. Zeroing out features will save RAM and uh, it may also reduce the noise in the model and uh, you might end up with a better accuracy. It's like uh, selecting only the important features. There are some differences between the L1 and the L2 regularization which we can discuss here. L2 do not make weights to zero but L1 does. L2 and L1 penalize weights differently. In L1 it penalize weights with a square but in uh, sorry in L2 it penalize weights with the, its square value but in L1 it penalize just with the weight values. So you can think it like this. In L2 we had seen that L2 is equal to W1 square plus W2 square plus W3 square. That means the square sum of the weights. But in the L1 we can think of that it is the sum of the absolute values of the weights. L2 and L1 have a different derivatives as well. The derivative of L2 is two times of the weight because it is a weight square and the derivative of L1 is k, alright? It is a constant whose value is independent of the weight. You can think of the derivative of the L2 as a force that removes x percent of the data from our training set. Alright? So, so, if you try to remove that x percent for, you know, the millions of the time, still you are not going to make it zero because there is a, a little fraction of that data will left there. Even though you can make it something like, uh, you know, nuclear decay. Alright, so in the decay element, so it takes, you know, the billions of years to decay at a zero percent. Alright, uh, otherwise it might not decay at 0% because at every time, at every half of its life, it only decreases at some percentage or half percentage of its overall current value. Alright, similarly if you select let's say the weight is equal to the 1 and you try to remove it 50% at a first rate, then it is going to be the 0 0.5, then at the second time it's 0 0.25, then it's 0 0.125, then 0 0.0. 0.075 and similarly it might get close to 0 but it is not going to be exactly 0. But in the L1 regularization what happens in L1 it penalizes the absolute value of all the weights and uh, it turns out to be the quite efficient and L1 might make your weights is equal to the 0 and ultimately you can remove that feature if weight of that particular feature becomes zero that's when there is no importance of that features in the algorithm all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching it i'll see you next lesson